Hello there guys, it's LazyBeast here with a video today about the Revival Catalyst which is coming next week and hopefully this video will answer every question that you've got about the system that will help you finally get that 4 piece set bonus that you've been waiting for all this time. So if you're still scraping around without your tier set bonus and your morale is in the gutter then this system will revive you into the fully fledged super nerd gamer that you once were, fear not. So you can use this system to turn any Season 1 piece of gear from either Mythic Plus, the Raid, PvP and most other sources of world gear into tier set items. And this does include any gear that you've got from your weekly vault as well so hopefully you've been bearing the system in mind and saved any decent eye level pieces of gear to turn into tier set pieces down the line. There is one catch, just remember that you cannot turn crafted gear into tier set items so do bear that in mind. So just to clarify, the tier set bonus will only be added to gear in the tier set slot, so that is gear in the helm, shoulders, chest, legs and gloves slots. If you change a piece of gear in any of the other armour slots, for example the cloak, tier piece technically, but it won't have any sort of tier set bonus tied to it. The things that do change are the stats and the appearance of the item. So as for the stats, they're all predetermined and you can see which stats the item will change into in the preview window of the catalyst, but if you want to have a further look, you can see on this list that WoW have put together what all the different pieces of armor will change into and the stats that they have on the items. So this can be good either if you've got a piece of gear that's a really high item level but this just has bad stats on it and you might be able to redeem that piece of gear to have decent stats on it or as well if you just want to fill out collecting the appearances for the different levels of tier gear. So to be specific with a date, the catalyst opens on January the 24th but for EU realms it's the 25th on the weekly reset. So yeah hopefully you were aware that this system was coming at some point and you've kept a couple of high item level pieces of gear ready to turn into tier set pieces like for example I have the 4 set bonus but I have these gloves that are from LFR which I'm going to be able to replace into a higher item level tier gloves next week when the system comes out. So another clarification because you're probably wondering if you weren't used to the system from Shadowlands if you're wondering what changes when you put a piece of gear into the system and what stays the same well here's what happens. So the item will keep its item level and any tertiary stats such as speed, leech and things like that and any sockets or enchants that it already has on it. So for example if I change these braces at the catalyst they will be the same item level, it would keep the socket and the enchant but just change its stats and appearance to the tier set ones. Now for a full list of what items change into on Wowhead you can find them here and the link to this website will be in the description. So how do you unlock it and where is it? So the quest to unlock this system comes from Watcher Koronos or also known as Stormbro from the cinematics who is just stood around at the top of the seat of the aspects in Valdraken. There's no big long winded quest chain to complete so don't worry about that and there's nothing to farm yet. He just gives you a quick quest to send you over there and it's just a short little flight over to Tearhold and it's just in the room on the left hand side of Tearhold as you can see here. It'll be marked on your map when you get the quest so it's really easy to find. There doesn't seem to be any special requirements to get this quest and unlock the system other than perhaps being level 70 maybe. So once you've unlocked it you're going to get this weekly quest. Now the quest once you complete it will give you one charge of this catalyst. So every week from the day the system goes live you'll be able to complete this quest which is an account wide quest and once you've done it you'll get one charge of the catalyst across your account it'll go to all your alts and you can have six charges maximum. And you can spend charges independently so if you get a charge in week one and you spend the charge on your main you'll still be able to spend that charge on any of your other ults even ults that you've not made yet if you create a new ult on week two of the catalyst being out and you've already got two charges as soon as you get that ult created and log in it'll have two charges sat there ready to use so as for the quest itself you get this quest at the beginning of the week and it can be completed over the course of the week by any of your characters so you can do this all on your main character if you want to or you can do this on some of your alts as well the choice is yours you could for example do one dungeon on four different characters each and then you'll probably complete the quest so to complete the quest you get certain percentages of completion for completing different types of content for example completing a dungeon in the dragon isles whether that be a normal heroic mythic or mythic plus dungeon is said to give 25 percent completion towards the quest now this hasn't been confirmed yet so the numbers may get tweaked it may be slightly higher or lower Killing a raid boss on any difficulty should give 25% completion, so you only need to complete 4 raid boss kills to finish the quest. And for PvP guys, any battleground, solo shuffle or arena match wins give 10% completion. And for any solo players that don't do any of that type of content, don't worry because world content does give completion too. So doing the Siege of Dragonbane Keep, the Grand Hunts and the Storm's Fury quests give 10% quest credit too. 
It's not been confirmed if the Tuscar Community Super Event gives any completion, so this needs to be checked out, but we'll find out soon. But at least we do know that you have those other sources of quest completion if you don't do any of these sort of PvP or raiding or Mythic Plus. So another thing to clarify, I hope I've said it clearly in this video, but I've seen a lot of people asking that if you complete this on your main and then complete the quest again on an alt, can you get two charges in one week? So you use two charges on your main. No, you can't is the basic answer to that question. You can only complete the quest once across your account to get one charge each week. So this does obviously differ slightly from how it was back in Shadowlands with the catalyst that we had in there, because with that one you had Cosmic Flux, which was a currency that you could farm so if you had basically created an alt that was a kind of a fair way into season four, you could just farm up a load of cosmic flux or send some over from your main and then get a lot of charges, if you will, of tier sets made all at once, but you can't do that in this expansion. So that's the only real big difference, but overall, I do think the system is an improvement from what we had in Shadowlands with the catalyst that we had there. But let me know what you think in the comments. So if you've got any other questions or if you just want to give me some grief for not uploading a video for a month, which I do apologise for, I have been doing the lazy thing, which is part of the name, you know how it is, then just add that in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys, I've been Lazy Beast. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have found it helpful or enjoyed it, please do leave it a like and consider subscribing for more World of Warcraft content from me because I promise it is coming, don't you worry. Thanks guys, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.